Okay guys, we are back today with a quick tour and overview of this 2018 Ford Escape SEL. Now before we get started, I would like to apologize for the possible exterior background noise. There is a freeway right down there, so I don't know how good this video is going to turn out. But I came all the way out to this dealer to look at a vehicle and um, I was walking the lot and again, there is many cars here. There's a lot of them unlocked and I figured I'd pick this one to make a quick video of. As I said, this is SEL. SEL trim was brought back for 2017, I want to say. Um, for 2018, for sure. But um, they actually ended the SEL trim in 2013 on the Escapes, and they figured, I guess, they'd bring it back. Um, so SEL, um, it gives you features of the Titanium and SE. So it's actually a pretty good value for the money. Um, but this particular one is finished off in a really nice cinnamon glaze metallic. We actually do have a 2018 Escape as well. Ours is just an SE, and um, we have the same exact color. I just haven't put it on the channel yet. But I really have come to like the color. It looks really nice in person. Um, this one does have projector halogen headlights with your LED runners right here with your uh, halogen fog lights. I'm also a really big fan of this color as well. But anyways, this one does have 17-inch alloy wheels riding on your Connie Pro contacts. This one does have your roof wheels as well. SEL does give that option to you. And coming off to the rear, it is a little tight back here, unfortunately. But you do have dual exhaust back there. And you do get your SEL and your EcoBoost badging right there as well. This is, I want to say, a pretty much a base SEL. Um, the only options this one has, well, there's really no options for this. So um, that is your total price right there is $29.95. Feel free to pause that. I don't know how well it's going to turn out on camera, but this does have your 1.5 EcoBoost. This one is front wheel drive. You have your blind spot mirror right there, and they are heated as well. Overall, just a really nice vehicle. The refresh, the escape is going to really be nice. Um, keyless entry right there. And coming over to the interior, as you can see, this one does have the tan interior. It's already a little dirty. Just probably from the people that taking that were taking them off the transporting trucks but anyways coming over to the tan leather interior it is fully powered you have a power lumbar right there the material is really nice and the i want to say the ford actually extended your thigh support on your 17 and up models um that's one thing i noticed and the material is a lot softer so these seats are much more comfortable than the 2013 the 2016 escapes that's just my own take on it um but anyways, looking over here at the door panels, nothing's really changed. It's all pretty much vinyl, soft touch. It's really nice materials though for the price point. And you have some storage right there. Power windows, power windows, power locks, power mirrors right there. Automatic headlights, fog lights, and you do get a power trunk with your SEL. Um, gauge dimming right there. And looking at the leather wrapped wheel, of course it's leather wrapped and bolstered. It's really nice. It comes out of the focus. Um, all your controls right there, of course. Looking at your gauges, they're pretty nice. Everything up here is all soft touch. Fit and finish is nice. Um, there's a few little gaps up there that I don't exactly like, but you know, again, it's not it's not a Mercedes or anything, so um, it's nice for what it is. You get a little kind of a hard to show you your start stop technology, electronic e brake, six speed automatic. Um, it's really nice as well. You have a lot of storage down here. You have USB and a 12 volt right there so heated seats as well again automatic on off right there trash control um which is really nice they added a button so i don't know what year they added that but you don't have to go through the menus anymore um you have your sync three and yeah it's just your basic system nothing really to go over it's just what all the new fords are getting these days um again center console is two stages and you have a usb in there as well glove box is nice and big one thing I don't exactly like, and one thing that has caught my eye just looking over here, I don't exactly like this gap, but um, I think that's only just because the car has tan interior. Um, that's just one thing I don't exactly like for this one. So we'll pop the hood. I don't want to open the trunk because it might hit the brick wall behind us. Sunglasses container and a illuminated vanity mirror. And you do have four damn panels with your tan headliner as well. So coming to the rear, it's really tight. Again, these cars are packed back here. Um, so I'll get in on the other side. So we have just enough room to get the trunk open right there. But as you can see, coming to the trunk, you do have a fair amount of cargo room. 
a subwoofer would be here for you to titanium and you have a fuller size spare and there's your amp right there for your radio and your wheel locks so to shut the trunk you just hit the button right here and it will shut so coming to the rear again The seats up front are farther back than I would like. I am six foot one. You have dual mat pockets and my knees do hit. But again, if this seat were up a little bit more, I'd be more comfortable. Again, dual mat pockets. You do have an armrest right here with cup holders. So that's really nice. And you have some vents and a 12 volt right there. And these seats do actually recline with this little lever right here. So it's not a bad place to spend time. It really isn't. Materials our car touch up here and you do get your vinyl right there so overall it's it's really not a bad vehicle for twenty nine thousand dollars you get a manual passenger seat as well and some netting for your storage right there let's put it under the hood the 1.5 liter ecoboost making around 175 horsepower and 175 pound feet of torque give or take not a bad little combination. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all later.